Hello, in this video, we will see how we can install the extended version of Hugo. So at first, I'm going to download the Hugo binary file. So I'm going to open the official web page of Hugo from Google. I just type Hugo from google.com and basically here, this is the website hugo.io. I'm going to click here and then this is the official web page of Hugo. Now we need to download this thing. To download this thing, we need to click this quick start and then it will bring this page. From here, we have to choose installation and based on our operating system, we have to choose the correct version of installer. I'm using Windows 11 for this video, but this tutorial is applicable any version of Windows. So I'm going to click Windows and then here we'll find there are a couple of editions are there okay so we have to scroll down a little bit we have to come pre-build binaries and we have to click this latest page so once we click here we'll access this github page and here we'll see all the available versions of hugo so i want to install the uh, extended version of hugo so basically if we scroll down the list almost at the bottom we will find Hugo extended and this is for Windows it is mentioning like this way Windows dash AMD 64 zip so we need to download this version of Hugo just click here from this github page and choose the location where you want to download so I'm going to download under downloads folder and then I'm going to press the save button once I press the save button it will start download and here we will see it is started downloading and it already finished and it is like 24 megabyte of space uh, for this Hugo. Now we don't need this browser anymore. I'm going to minimize this thing and then I'm going to access the downloads location. So here I'm going to open the downloads folder and here we are seeing that this is the downloaded version of Hugo extended. Now this is a zip file right dot zip at the extension. We need to extract it. I'm going to extract this thing. If we are using Windows 11 or Windows 10, we can extract this thing without any extra software. Uh, but for other case, we need some unzipping software. Just right click on top of this, then you will find extract all this option. Just choose this and then it is showing which location we want to extract. I'm keeping the extraction extracted files in this folder. I mean under downloads so I choose this path and then I'm going to press the extract button and very shortly it will be extracted and we can close this thing and we can find the extracted version a little bit down so here basically we need to refresh and after refresh if we go down we'll see it is over there right so this is the extracted version of the Hugo now we need to do one thing so uh, we are going to open a new tab or new window and then I'm going to access my main computer and C drive and here I'm going to create a folder right click and then new then folder the name of the folder is like Hugo okay and then just access the folder so right now this is empty right so what I'm going to do I'm going to copy all of these three I'm going to select everything and then from here we can copy it from this button or control C then we can come Hugo and we can paste here I'm going to paste it and everything will be pasted over here now I'm going to open the command prompt so I'm going to click the start menu and in the search box I'm going to type CM and then we'll find command we just need to click here to open the command prompt and once we open the command prompt uh, then we'll see we are in this path and our Hugo binary is in this location so we need to go back to the uh, to, to this location so in con prompt we can type cd then dot dot we are going to uh, we are going back to the users folder now again we have to type another time cd then dot dot then we are in the c drive now we have to access this folder like c hugo so i'm going to uh, open the folder like cd that means change directory and i have to type the name of the folder hugo and then we have to press the enter key of our keyboard now we'll see uh, this is the hugo folder right now if we want to see whether uh, these files are here or not we can type the command dir and it will show all the available 
uh, files are here this is the list of the files right and where we are seeing hugo.exe now let's check whether uh, hugo is there or not by typing the command hugo then version hugo space and version then ent and hit the enter key and if hugo is there then we will find uh, this is the version of hugo right so that means this hugo is installed properly now one other thing here uh, let's do one thing let's go back to this directory or this folder and if we type the same command which is hugo that version now we will not able to see hugo is there so let's uh, enter and uh, we are seeing hugo is not recognized as an internal or external command so why it is work not working but previously it was working the main uh, I mean in this case it was working here also it will work but we need to configure a little bit so here we are inside the hugo folder so the hugo command is applicable inside this folder if we are outside this folder it is not working so now we will fix this thing so to fix this thing at first we need to click this start menu and then we have to type environment envi if you type environment then you see edit environment variables of your account just click here and the environment variable window will be opened here so from here we will see there is a path uh, line so we just need to select it and then we need to click the edit button and it will bring the edit environment variable this window here we just need to double click or we can click the new and then start typing the path location of hugo so i'm going to type c colon then slash then this is under hugo folder right h u hugo and that's it once we type this thing we can press the ok button and everything will be okay now press this ok button to close this window now if we try to run the same command again we will not see that it is not working properly so let's check right see here it is showing that it is unable to find out the hugo so what we need to do after changing the environment path we just need to close this window this command prompt and then reopen the command prompt from start menu and start typing command and you'll find command prompt is there click here and the command prompt will be opened so now if you type the command hugo space version now it will work see here it is working so the thing is that if you modify anything on the environment variable uh, you need to restart uh, the command prompt and then it will work so that's it guys in this way we can easily install or configure hugo on our windows computer now if we try to run any of the hugo command like to create a new site or to deploy or to build everything it will work so that's it guys thank you for watching the video if you have any question or problem please put in the comment section